Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, Ooch, and we finally are here with another chapter review for Dragon Ball Super. All right, now this is chapter 43. Um, this is obviously recorded December 20th. Um, and of, and obviously, for those that don't know, I, I shouldn't say obviously, but for those that don't know, Dragon Ball Super is in the monthly V-Jump that takes place, or that it releases in Japan, uh, with the next chapter chapter 44 being slated to release uh january 20th now this as always is story originally created by kira toriyama and the manga is all drawn out by toyotaro himself with the all new um i guess overseeing influence that akira toriyama now has it looks like he's getting his hands a little bit more i shouldn't say more dirty but he does have more um direction with the manga this time around um with with uh, starting with this arc and um, so this is in the first chapter of this arc we have we were introduced to the galactic patrol prisoner arc within chapter 42 last month um and so far so good um started off really re set us up with a with a good like you know series of events that took place there if you haven't go and check out the viz app sure sure the just trying jump app um the chapter should still be available for free to download or just to read off of their website um and if you haven't i highly recommend becoming a member of the service it's only a dollar 99 not only do you get the weekly shonen jump um every week but you do get a back catalog completely filled with manga 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 over ten thousand chapters worth of manga including dragon ball super okay so without further ado let's go ahead and review this entire chapter from start to finish first things first we are greeted with a flashback now flashbacks are something that i really you know have a lot of appreciation for um i know that this is definitely a, a frequent thing that happens a lot in a lot of different animes i don't really feel like for some reason i just get this 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 vibe from dragon ball that this doesn't necessarily happen too much we don't really get too many backstories on a lot of things um that are canon um that are like you know within the the mainline continuity of the story that you know akira toriyama has been writing out for us since you know the start of dragon ball and i feel like every time that we do see something like this it should be appreciated and i guess like you know, really taken in as something that is, you know, that just should be appreciated amongst a lot of people that, because it, it just, it feels like it just gives Dragon Ball more depth. That's just me. I don't know how how y'all feel about it. Let me know. But yeah, we started with a flashback, more, so, so a little bit more backstory um, in regards to the Grand Supreme Kai, the South Supreme Kai, um, having their battle with uh, Planet Eater Moro. So we do not have to call him the Goat Man no more. This guy has a name, and his name is Moro, or AKA Planet Eater Moro. All right. Now, for those that might not know, I'm Hispanic, so I caught on to this. Moro is actually like a rice and beans dish. So this is actually, I think this is really cool that uh, Kira Toriyama is now. It seems like he's running out of food idea names, so he might start dipping into like you know other languages, which is kind of cool. Um, so yeah, so Planet Eater Moto, alright? So he's fighting off Grand Supreme Kai and South Kai. He's throwing literally planetary devastation looking moves at them. It almost seemed like Grand Supreme Kai was about to die in one of the shots. South Kai was like bugging out. He's like, what? Oh my god, are you okay? And so realistically, there were comets. Um, and in the middle of all of his attacks, uh, we see Moro absorbing an entire planet's life energy and just simply eating it. So obviously that's where he gets his name from. Um, and during this scene, um, standing by are the Galactic Police, which are the predecessors to what we know now as the Galactic Patrol. Um, they shared some information on Moro, uh, saying that he was charged with the destruction of the Eragi star system and for destroying 320 planets. All right, now I think that with those two things alone, and seeing how he's just pretty much handling two Supreme Kai's are pretty insane. Okay, so moving right along, um, the Grand Supreme Kai gives up most of his "quote unquote" God power to allow the Galactic Patrol to imprison him for life. Since I guess you know we learn obviously after this that no one could really kill him. So, he uses a technique called the Kai Kai Matoru, which 
you know, does does a number on Moro at it at least um removes his, you know, most of his magic ability which allowed the galactic p- patrol or in this case the Bal- the galactic police to step in and imprison him um and, and you know, give him the life sentence that he has been serving up until now. And all of this took place 10 million years ago. And then then they know 5 million years after is where Boob absorbed Grand Supreme Kai. So then, uh, after this, Goku offers the help uh, of him and Vegeta to go help rescue, or I shouldn't say not rescue, but recapture Moto. Um, and, you know, he, he basically offers the help because he he tells them that, you know, Boo is actually asleep and he, he didn't actually get stun gunned. Uh, with their with their device, this man Boo is still knocked out, cold. All right. Um, so both Goku and Vegeta get inducted into the Galactic Patrol, um, and then uh, shortly thereafter, uh, there's some ruckus going on. They they find that there's like um, a team of bandits trying to steal some. Um, some fuel source or the substance called blue arum which is like a fuel source that can power all sorts of machines and with enough of it it could actually um, be used to create a bomb to destroy a planet that's how that's how od the blue aurum is okay so we learned that they uh once they're on this planet called the planet tongue uh the thugs are a team a, a team of siblings known as the makareni siblings which if you can't already guess that's a play on words a play on words off of macaroni, and the three of the siblings are are named Pasta, Getty, and Penne. Freaking genius! I I love it. All right. Uh, so Maris has an exchange with the leader Pasta. They go back and forth. Um, there's a there's a point in this fight where uh the the Macadani, I shouldn't even call it a fight because there wasn't really any kind of like blows being dealt with back and forth. Uh, but the Macadani siblings seem to have escaped. But however, Maris. Little did we all know, was fast enough to tamper with their ship to slow them down from truly escaping. And Vegeta takes note of this. And um, the whole reason why Vegeta and Goku are even there to begin with is be- is more so so that Vegeta can see why or how Maris is actually as fast as he was. Because he quite couldn't really get over how, um, how he- they were simply, you know, like kidnapped um, how they were. You know, obviously, th- now remember this play. This this arc takes place directly after the Broly events. So, being that you know all of that happened, and they're just quick to just get captured like that, kind of shows you how strong Maris actually is. And of course, he is confirmed to be the number one in the entire Galactic Patrol. Um, so he was trying to follow all of his moves, and he couldn't. He still couldn't even, you know follow all of it because that's how fast Maris was so it's kind of cool to to see Maris getting some attention some limelight um some spotlight if you will and it, it's nice to know that you know there are actually other beings out there that are not Saiyans that are this strong so again just keep that in mind so of course shortly after that whole you know back and forth uh the the Makadani siblings were captured, so now they're going back to the base. And then as soon as they, it seems like as soon as they get back to the base, there was some other trouble going on. But this time the trouble was more directly towards what we all want to know. Where the hell is Moro at? They're trying to track him down. So the Kusaya squad, which I would imagine would be a team or a branch or some, you know, some, you know, alliance or just some like group within the galactic patrol they were off scouting and they got a lead on moto's location so then goku tried to sense him um because i guess they su- suspected moto to get to escape farther than he did but it wasn't as far as they suspected and so then goku tried to sense him with his own power and he found him and when he found him goku had the most terrifying look on his face that we've probably ever seen this man make. And here it is. It's on your screen right here. Now, this is the last and final page of this chapter 43 of Dragon Ball Super. And, of course, you see in the corner there, next chapter hits January 20th. Now, with all that being said, guys, 
I just want to say that this chapter um, was really good. Okay, it was really good, super fun. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the pacing was really well done. I think that having Akira Toriyama overseeing this um, is a really good decision. And I, I think that the manga is definitely going to be showing that. And it's going to be a hell of a lot better. And I think, I, I, like, just within the, how, how fun this was. There was some fun stuff. There was uh, a really good backstory. We got to see more of the Supreme Grand Kai, the... Uh, the South Kai, we saw, you know, Moro in action. We saw him using his ability to absorb, you know, life energy. Um, and I have to also uh, shout out Geekdom. Geekdom, in his video, um, not his review, but his video prior to this, there was a, there was actually, he did a, a video on the leaks um, and the rough translations of um, the leaked images from the current V-Jump issue, which this chapter is placed in Japan. And... You know, he, he was talking about how Moro, you know, he is like reverse spirit bomb, you know, like he in, instead of borrowing or using, all, you know, the life energy around him to use as an attack, he literally condenses it and he uses it for himself and he eats it and takes the energy all, all only making him stronger. So it would actually be sick if they are so strong. Like, like, or he is so strong, and Goku and Vegeta are really having a hard time fighting him that, you know, they, 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 they pull out all the stops, you know. And by all the stops, you know, that means that Goku's about to whip out a spirit bomb. How cool would it be, actually, to see Moro just take the spirit bomb and eat that, John? Like, I think that would be OD as hell. I think that would be crazy just to see that because I know... You know, the, the cliche thing to do is, you know, hit it away or just to, to, to stop it, throw it back, whatever. But nah, raw, eat it, no sauce. That, that's, that's, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. But some other things I do want to point out, some fun stuff that I have noted here in my notes. Um, they do mention Broly. They don't name drop him, but they do mention him. Um, there's a part in the in the chapter where Goku, you know, is, is talking with Maris. And it's, it's literally after... The, the Maris tells them the, the the story of Moro and ten millions before ten million years before and you know all the events that happened with the Grand Supreme Kai and um, Goku's like oh he he makes a comment he's like oh like you know that that's crazy how like you know you know there's so many strong people out there that we don't we don't even know about within the universe like did you know that we just we just fought like a really strong Saiyan and of course that is direct that is a direct like you know relation to Broly all right and then the second most fun thing that I had to point out that I want to share with you guys was the moment that took place before the ceremony before their induction into the Galactic Patrol and this was with the Galactic King now the Galactic King comes out and you guys know what I'm talking about like this is I, I'm not going to show you guys because I want you guys to go ahead and support Viz support Shonen Jump and read the chapter officially and it is free, so it's not, it's not like it costs you anything. And you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about, um, where, you know, Goku goes to shake the hand of the Galactic King, and I say it like that, so that way, for those that have read the chapter know what I'm talking about. At this very moment, I actually laughed out loud, and it was really funny. And it just goes along with, you know, how much I enjoyed this chapter. Because I feel like there was enough of a, a really good balance. There was backstory, there was dialogue, there was you know, um, you know, like a plot that was being, you know, like everything was being cemented. Uh, we were learning more about Moro. We got to see Moro, um, even though it wasn't a flashback, but we saw him nonetheless. Uh, we got to see Maris, more Maris action. You know, he stopped like you know a gang of thugs or whatever, um, and we got to see him in action. And then towards the end, bam, we see. We literally see Moro like in the present and doesn't really look like he aged at all. I don't know how that works. This man is literally 10 million years old or more than 10 million years old, which is like insane just to think about. Um, and yeah, like that, that's pretty much it. Like I really, I really enjoyed this chapter. It really goes to show like with, you know, the direct, uh, creator's influence within this story, uh, it, it, it so far it's really shaping up to be a really fun and awesome arc um 
and and they also one thing I also do want to point out before I I go is that they do say that you know obviously the reason why they have boo there is they want to not necessarily extract the supreme grand kai from boo but they want to somehow extract his power so that way they can use that to their advantage to basically recapture Moro or to I guess remove his magic to subdue him you know long enough or whatever so that way they can just throw him back in his life sentence since they can't kill him all right so po- I'm pointing this out again because this doesn't necessarily mean that we will be getting kid boo super boo you know they, if they if cuz if you think about it if they are if they're just going to absorb or just try to dissect the power that the grand supreme kai left behind within that's dwelling deep within boo because you could you figure it's been how long that you know that the grand supreme kai has been a part of boo after a while you you you'd have to you'd have to figure like okay they 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 must be like they they can't it's not like you know how go tanks piccolo how they were in like the little boo pods when you know back in dragon ball z when we saw them inside majin boo like and those were fresh uh, absorptions we're talking 10 million years 5 million years guys like that's a little od for for all of us to just assume that the grand supreme kai is just there <laughs> like for him to just you know like i i don't think that's it at all and it actually makes more sense if the the narrative is as such where they are going to extract the power rather than just take the whole physical embodiment of the grand supreme kai admittedly it would be really cool to see the grand supreme kai actually out and about in you know the current story but again i really don't think the chances of that are likely it's it's really highly not likely you know but again anything can happen really um moro is you know already being written as a super strong dude and it's crazy because it's just like every, we're so we're so hooked on fixated on broly right now and it's just like damn like this is kind of putting broly to shame but then again you know all, you know really just just adding on adding more sustenance and substance to this arc and you know just going to going to show how you know this chapter alone was really cool and really fun to read so if you haven't read it for yourself, I highly recommend that you do check it out. Viz.com or shonenjump.com. Read it for free. This is the official translation, the official way to support. All right. I approve it. Y'all should approve it. It's a hell of fun. Tell me what you guys thought about it in the comments below. All the good stuff. Like, share, subscribe. You already know the drill. All the links in the description if you want to support the channel further. And take care of yourselves. Have a great one, guys. May the power protect y'all. And I'll see y'all next time.